Hey, how's it going? Travis from Recording King here, and today I want to talk to you about a basic banjo terminology of truss rod versus coordinator rod. Now, mixing names up, we've all been there before. Sometimes I call my kid the dog's name and the dog the kid's name. I wish I would have just named them the same name. That would make it a lot easier. However, in the case of this banjo, one thing that people sometimes get confused in the terminology is the truss rod versus the coordinator rods. I want to start with the truss rod because it is more common across a number of different instruments. The truss rod is an adjustable rod in the neck that controls the relief, the curvature of the neck. In a banjo and many guitars, it's adjusted through the headstock. Sometimes you have to remove a truss rod cover. It's often adjusted with a hex wrench, and that changes the relief, the curvature of the neck. The coordinator rods, on the other hand, are inside a banjo, visible already in an open back banjo, or in the case of this RKR35, you take the resonator back off to be able to see it. This has a dual coordinator rod setup. They run a multiple purpose where they affix the neck to the pod assembly and the tailpiece to the other side of the pod assembly. Minor, minor, tiny neck angle adjustments can be done with the coordinator rods, though that's really not ideal because you don't want to get the rim and the pot out of round. However, the main thing that you need to know if you're hearing a reason to make an adjustment from a luthier or want to ask a question, coordinator rods in the body, dual coordinator rod setup is preferable, truss rod in the neck. So, hope if you have a banjo, you pull that resonator off, take a look inside, and then get to playing. 